it is 4 11 a.m in the morning i have not slept because it is well was sunday and i don't sleep on sundays because i always wait for market open in case i can catch a nice breakout as you guys can see in my signal group right over here guys see i sent a trade out at 3 a.m i sent a trade out at 3 a.m and do you guys want to see oh, oh i think i just showed you but you guys want to see what we're doing right now we're ready up we already up. We already up. And of course, I'm gonna get into more detail on the trade, the breakdown, because I'm already up $14,000 right now. And it is 4 a.m. I just do wanna say one thing before we get into the rest of the video, like the breakdown and I take you guys up and about. It's like, go oh, get a new fade because your boy looking rusty. I just do wanna say you guys that I'm at this point, but you guys see me, I stay up late. I don't get no sleep. I have to wait for breakouts. I have to wait for right movements. I have to still work like I'm broke because if you really wanna get to like a certain level, especially with forex it requires hard work and i just want that to be a lesson to a lot of you that it ain't easy it ain't simple but it is most rewarding a lot of people you know they get into the markets man they go and trade for 10 minutes they don't even know what they're doing forex is a scam i lost all my money just scam don't trade for it get out of here man anyhow guys i'm gonna break down the trade for you when i wake up what is poppin' SC Founders, or don't learn to be Chef Michael Tate Norman, and I am back with another video for you guys today. So today, I'm actually gonna get a haircut because your boy is kind of looking like a push monkey under here. So I'm actually on my way to Money Cuts right now to go and get a haircut. By the way, my number one recommended place, by the way. Money Cuts has to be the place. And if you guys are wondering why I'm actually so poofy, I actually did take a tray at 3 a.m. in the morning, but I am gonna show you guys a little bit more on that later. Let me get my haircut first. After that, I'll show you the trade I took, and then when do the breakdowns because you guys do know we are currently on the trade to buy journey we made mad bank we made really good money first thing in the morning before anybody else has breakfast we're already making money so anyways team let me go in there get my hair cut and then i'll break down the trade for you guys <laughs> calvin I saw, you do, I saw you do the barber pullback for the lineup where you're checking the lineup. <laughs> you was like all the way there for the check, so I'm like, he's doing the lineup. <laughs> Bro, I swear, Calvin's over there, man. He's, he, he's trying to act slick, but I know he's just trying to do the lineup from a distance. I see him all the way there, man. I should pretend you're getting something. I know you're trying to do the lineup from a distance. I see you. <laughs> Anyways, team, uh, so yeah, we got the manicure done. So your boy's hands are looking good. They gotta look good when you're clicking on these charts. Another thing is the trade I did take this morning, I am gonna break it down for you guys. Fair stay tuned for that. Also, when I do full breakdowns, you guys need to pay attention in detail to what happens. And remember, any strategies or breakdowns that I do show you, it's not for you to just go into your live and then just go and practice on that. You shouldn't be doing that. What you should be doing is actually practicing on your demo first and then rinse and repeat until you're consistent. At least have 70% of a win rate with the particular strategy or the breakdown that i do provide you guys remember demo is actually very important and very helpful because it helps you learn and practice so when i'm done i'm gonna get back and show you guys exactly what we did oh boy we're looking too clean my boy we're looking way too clean i was gonna do the face got the hands now i got the hair done now i'm doing the face man your boy looking way too clean i won't lie it's got my face feeling stiff but i mean at least <laughs> Okay, so this is the end result. I might look a little moisturized because it was, I guess it's what happens after the facial or whatnot. We're in real cinema right now with the baby. By the way, this is the movie theater, by the way. Yeah, baby. Them girls came out to play, huh? What? What's up? Nah, what's up? Talk to me. Stop violating me. <laughs> Dude, as soon as you get down here, you get welcome drinks, you get some peanuts. This place is huge, by the way. It's like a full-on restaurant. It's like the cinema. There's a ton more slots, bro. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Anyways, team, I'm not bored you with this. I'm actually gonna watch Mission Impossible. You guys need to see exactly the trade I took, and I'm gonna break down everything for you. Let's get it. All right, team. So before I even get into any of the breakdowns, I'm gonna start off by saying, 
number one is that in the next uh, trade to buy video I am gonna be doing a withdrawal for you guys we are gonna be doing a withdrawal we'll see however much it is that we actually end up withdrawing but we are gonna be doing that in the next video as well as of course the trade that I do take at that time and another breakdown if you guys are enjoying this series so far please hit a thumbs up down below guys and comment down as well because if we can get this video to at least 500 likes I will be doing a giveaway in the next withdrawal video as well so if we can get 500 likes on this video guys I will be doing a giveaway in the next video and also I did not forget that I actually also have to do another giveaway for you guys because I did reach hundred and sixty thousand followers on my Instagram and I did promise you that at hundred and sixty thousand followers I will be doing a giveaway so I do want to let you know that we are still gonna be doing that I just want to see what I can possibly give away that's gonna be nice and you know beneficial to a lot to a lot of you as well so we are gonna be doing that and I do want to say again thank you so much guys for the for the love and support you guys are showing me also the YouTube I haven't been consistent on YouTube I have still I haven't actually taken it seriously over the last three years that I've actually created when I first started my channel but only within the last basically the last year last six months you can say I've actually started to take my YouTube actually seriously and I'm dropping consistently as you guys can see and you guys are showing me a lot of love we're at 16,000 subs right now I do appreciate that guys 20,000 subs I will be doing another giveaway as well so just letting you guys know these little milestones that I do put out for myself and for you guys as well but yeah I just wanted to say again thank you so much for the love and support you guys have shown me it really really is amazing I appreciate you guys with everything in me so remember 500 likes we do a giveaway in the next video all right team so without further ado I want to get into this video it was pretty uh, simple well simple but kind of tricky if you, if you don't know what you're doing especially during market open so let me just break down what I did let's get into it okay so right over here guys because you guys can see we have US 30 I did take a sell so this is where uh, price was also please do know something just one last thing it is 4 26 a.m. I don't know why I keep recording at this time but I'm always up you know always in my charts I know it is a Saturday at this point in time but you know I just got to make sure everything is good I, I love trading you know what I'm saying it's my life so you feel me so I did take all my trades purely on the five minute chart I did not do anything else so I basically marked up my charts as follows so I looked for my most immediate uh, resistance zone found my immediate supports and then I will let you know the rules I did look at and what I actually paid attention to. So we're just gonna do a quick markup of everything. And now listen, because it was market open, so a Monday, Mondays are usually trap days. So I always proceed with extra caution and pay attention to a lot of minor details as well. So I did also look at points when price did reverse or had like a little pivot or spike point as well as like to mark these up as possible areas in which price could play and reverse at potentially. Cause I did not want to be left out miss absolutely anything the reason I didn't mark up see this area over here all the way down here is because you know this is currently where price had stopped over the weekend so I was waiting for the open to see exactly what was gonna happen so very simple price opened right above there as you can see um, Asian session so price did go and touch these this level right over here so my opportune moment to enter was I was definitely not taking any buys I was always looking for a sell the reason I was looking for a sell is that you know price also currently had been on a downtrend it had reached a spot spike point on the higher time frames it did reach like a, a little a little pivot point where it was shooting up for some time and then a major uh, reversal to the downside and you could definitely see momentum slow down for the buyers so I definitely was definitely looking to sell especially seeing that price did open above where it closed and not below so this was uh, also a pretty good indication for me to definitely look for sells and not buys now I was if price did break above yeah I was gonna look for some a, a possible points of entry above the break point but luckily for us it did not break so I did see a slowing momentum in this general region I did not enter because remember this is this was a Monday trap day so I always waited it did break above and most people would have probably entered because it's usually the strategy we use right but because it is a Monday you got to exercise caution and also at the end of the day what I was looking for was a sell I was not looking to buy at all the market is about adapting to the situation but I was very certain I was gonna sell because everything else told me it was gonna sell so it priced did break and it did come back down and still played it still played it went up but it still kind of slowed momentum within this 
this region over here. I did not enter any trades until I got a clear sign that we're going downward. And then this was my clear sign to enter my trade. So price had gone up, it did create, you know, this little point over here and did fall down, come back into this range over here. As you can see, it's still tested and respected and then came down. It did break over here, but as you can see, momentum really wasn't going anywhere. It was the Asian session as well. So, you know, you know, not much movement, but then we did get that strong push down. And as you guys know, another rule is that price always got to close its gap, whether it's now or whether it's later, always got to close the gap. This is where I decided, all right, I'm going to enter on my positions. And this is around the point that I also did call the trade to the group. And I didn't do something too crazy. You know, as always not too crazy. We're just going to keep it above, you know, that previous point right over there. We don't have to do anything too crazy. And as for the last TP, we can go all the way down here. On Mondays, I don't really like to have too crazy. Like my take profits are never like too crazy because you know, you don't ever want to be faked out and taken out looking like a dunce in the market. You don't want that. I just want to break down quickly my reasons for entry. Number one, we did have to see the momentum change from buyers to sellers. Number two, it was a Monday, right? So you never go for the obvious trade and the obvious trade in the situation was a buy. I did not do that. Number three, I was certain I already knew the direction I wanted to go in, right? Based upon previous data. Price opened above where it had closed before the weekend had started. Therefore, the gap needs to be closed. The gap needs to be closed. This is also another reason. And I did mark up my support and resistance zones. And as you can see, price did break above. However, momentum was slow was the Asian session and it probably was just to fake out a lot of people. But if you were a trader and you were experienced, you know the gap has to be closed. And on Mondays, it's usually trap days and we did not fall for the trap. And another reason for the entry of the trade is that I am SE Trading X and I am just good at what I do, okay? I'm just good at what I do, all right? A little flush on the side. So it did go, it did what we needed it to do. I did show you guys the profit. As you guys see, it even did come down for the, come up for the retest over there. We were securing profit long before this. We had secured, some people had entered, exited. We just made money and that was brilliant. This was the trade we did take. And as you guys can see, your boy made 12, thousand dollars it was twelve thousand dollars right i believe it was twelve thousand dollars but yes it was twelve thousand dollars that we were able to make in just like a little over an hour we were able to make like twelve thousand dollars so remember we are trying to make four hundred thousand dollars i have to whisper she is asleep but you know i don't want to just go off the same tone and then she can hear me but we have to make four hundred thousand dollars so remember it's four hundred thousand dollars for the car we want to get all right the previous video which is right over here if you guys want to check it out i did make eighteen thousand dollars so I'll drop it down to three hundred and eighty-two thousand dollars. I hope my math is correct. And now I've made another twelve thousand dollars, so that drops it down to three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So so far we are doing pretty good. Three hundred seventy thousand dollars left, and I think we've actually almost reached the ten percent mark for our goal. So we are doing this pretty nicely. The next video, remember, there is going to be a withdrawal for you guys. We are going to do a withdrawal so that you guys can see us actually take money from the markets, this money that we are making, and we can actually. You know, maybe spend a little bit on the side. You know, I know we're trying to do the bigger goal, but damn, this is trading. What what good is Forex if we're not going to spoil ourselves? But we don't know. We don't know. Anyways, team, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And team, I will catch you guys in the next video. The next video might not be the trade to buy. It probably won't be the part three. The next video, I'll probably do like a day in my life. We'll just come with me and we just go around, you know, do something. Because I don't want to just bore you with the series. Just constantly being the only thing on my page. I also want to, you know, do something else. Keep you guys entertained as well. Some of you guys have also requested I do like psychology video so I am also gonna do that as well for you we are gonna do some psychology videos just let you guys know how my mental works and how I focus in the markets I'm so confident in what to do it also comes years of experience but also there's little key things that I did do for myself to always keep me focused in the markets but team that's it for me today I love you guys and I appreciate everything you guys do and your support for me it means a lot team I love you guys I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video peace